Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog sessions. In this session, I am going to discuss about mailbox in System Vlog. So in this session, we are going to understand what is mailbox, where we use the mailbox in our System Vlog test bench, and the methods. What are all the methods there in the mailbox? And we will see the difference between mailbox and queue. Okay, and also we will see the examples in the next video. So a mailbox is a way of communication between different processes to exchange the data. A mailbox is a way of communication between different processes to exchange the data. So this mailbox is similar to the post box. Okay, post box. What what is post box? We will put the letters into the post box and we will get the letters, right? When we when we want to communicate between the uh, people who are staying in the different places, that time we use the post box, right? So we will put the letters and we will get the letters. But the difference between this post box and this mailbox is the way of accessing. Okay, mailbox behaves as a first in first out order. This mailbox behaves as a first in first out means whatever you put the data first, you will get the data first. You will get that data first. Okay, the data you put first, you will get first. But in post box, how it is? The you will put the letters and uh, you will put the letters, and when you are getting that letter, you can get any letter, right? So. based on the address we will then uh, circulate that letters but when we are accessing randomly we will access right but in mailbox it follows the first in first out order okay mailbox behaves as a first in first out order and where is mailbox utilized in the system mailbox so where we can use this mailbox in our test bench we have a test bench architecture right in system mailbox what are the components we have generator driver monitor scoreboard interface environment interface is not a component interface environment test right so these are all the components this is the test bench architecture here where we use the mailbox so mailbox is used for the communication between different processes we know right so where we can use this mailbox we know that generator generates the stimulus right randomized stimulus it will generate and that randomized stimulus will be transferred to the driver because the driver has to drive that to the dut right so driver has to drive but in order to drive that first it has to get the randomized stimulus for that we use the mailbox from generator to driver we will use the mailbox so that the generated stimulus will be transferred to the driver through the mailbox and again dut will process the data after driving the after uh, driving the stimulus it will take that stimulus and it will process the data it will perform some operation that processed data will be captured by the monitor monitor will capture the stimulus from the dut the processed data okay so it has to transfer to the scoreboard right because it has to compare the uh, dut output and the referenced output so it has to compare whether it is matching or not for that monitor has to transfer the processed data to the scoreboard again for that we use the mailbox monitor will transfer the uh, captured data through the mailbox to the scoreboard okay in two cases we can use the mailbox from generator to driver and monitor to scoreboard so this is where we can use the mailbox and in mailbox we have mainly two types generic mailbox and parameterized mailbox okay we will discuss what is this generic and parameterized so first we understand we have generic mailbox and parameterized mailbox again this generic mailbox and parameterized mailbox are categorized into two types okay bounded mailbox and unbounded mailbox if the mailbox if the size is defined in the mailbox then it is called bounded mailbox and if the size is not defined then it is called unbounded mailbox similarly in queue if the queue is uh, if the queue has a particular size then it is a, a bounded queue right similarly if the size is defined in the mailbox then it is a bounded mailbox and if the size is not defined then it is unbounded mailbox in each type we have these two types okay in generic mailbox we have bounded and unbounded in parameterized mailbox we have bounded and unbounded now we will see the types of mailbox so what is generic mailbox generic means generally okay the generic mailbox can be put or get data of any data type like int bit byte string etc so here in the mailbox we can put any type of data not only the uh, same data type okay you can put int type data and string type data bit type byte type any type you can put the data there is no restriction on the type of the data data type okay so generic mailbox and by default the mailbox is a typeless or generic mailbox by default it is a generic mailbox we have two types right generic and parameterized by default it is generic mailbox and the syntax is 
mailbox this is the keyword mailbox like we have discussed semaphore right semaphore sem is the handle of semaphore similarly mailbox is the keyword we have to use for mailbox and this is the mailbox name okay mailbox mailbox name and parameterized mailbox parameterized mailbox means in generic mailbox what we have seen here we can put or get the data of any data type but parameterized mailbox means the data type is fixed here the parameterized mailbox can be put or get a data of particular data type so when the type of the data is fixed that time we can use the parameterized mailbox if you want to put the data of int type only that time you can use the parameterized mailbox and if you want to put the if you want to put the data of string type then you can use the parameterized you don't want to put any other type only one type of data you want to put that time that time you can use the parameterized mailbox the parameterized mailbox is useful when data type needs to be fixed for differences in data type compilation error is expected so if you are using the parameterized mailbox mailbox and you are putting the different data type uh, value okay you are putting the data of different data type that time you can expect the compilation error and this is the syntax to write the parameterized mailbox mailbox hash here type mailbox name for example mailbox hash int mx okay this is the mailbox name this is how you have to write the parameterized mailbox now we will see the methods of the mailbox okay here we have some methods there are these are all the useful when we are uh, working on the mailbox first one is function new we know that mailbox is a built in class if it is a class we have to create the object for the handle right so this is the constructor function new returns a mailbox handle an argument represents bounded mailbox size otherwise it is an unbounded mailbox we have discussed right bounded and un unbounded how we can represent the bounded and unbounded mailbox so that is through the new constructor inside the new parenthesis in inside the parenthesis if you mention the value that defines the size of the mailbox okay if you don't mention anything it is unbounded infinite okay and it returns the mailbox handle and the next method is put method it is a task task put of data here you have to put the data in order to store into the mailbox and it is a blocking method that stores the data in the mailbox why it is called blocking method because it will block until the mailbox is full okay when the mailbox is full it will block the mailbox you can't put any other data once the size is full once the mailbox is full so it will block the process you can't put other data okay and another one is try put method so this is non blocking okay this is a function here it will when we are talking about function it will return either 1 or 0 okay you have to remember like that function so uh, here in the try put try put means it's a non blocking here it will not going to block the process even though if the size is full so uh, instead of that it will return the status of the um, mailbox whether it is full or not so if it is full it will return 0 if it is not full then it will return 1 the non blocking method that stores data in the mailbox if it is not full and returns 1 and if it is full it will return 0 okay that means you can't put the data it will return 0 task get and data it, this is a get method get method means whatever you stored before you will get the data in order to get that you have to get, use the get method this is blocking similar to the put method okay it is blocking and it, it is used to retrieve the data from the mailbox and try get it is again similar to the try put so here it is a non blocking method and it will return it will return either 1 or 0 based on the condition okay which returns data if a mailbox is non empty so else returns zero if the mailbox is non empty that means you can retrieve the data right so that time it will return one otherwise it will return zero when it is empty okay and peak method peak method is similar to the get method only but the difference is here it will copy the data from the mailbox without removing it from the mailbox get method what get method will do get method will retrieve the data means it will take take out the data from the mailbox but this peak method just copies the data it will not remove it will not remove from the mailbox whatever the last element is there that will be copied when we call the peak method okay that is the only difference between peak and uh, get method and try peak means similar to uh, similar to the try get uh, that is non blocking and it will try to copy the data from the mailbox without removing it from the mailbox this is blocking and this is non blocking and the last one is num method function int num so it returns number of entries in the mailbox in order to find the number of elements present in the mailbox you can use the num method 
okay these are all the methods available in mailbox methods so in the next video we will see the difference between queue and mailbox and we will see some example